chicken has been cooked in several ways. We do it um, every time you order. It's freshly cooked and then each chicken is brushed with the soy garlic sauce. This double frying technique helps eliminate the excess oil that we usually get from frying food. And we Filipinos just love it. The owner was inspired by his trip abroad and then he decided to, um, to bring it here. The owner named it after his dad. We started out with just an eight-seater store. The customers are requesting for a bigger space to dine in, so we eventually moved to a bigger space and then more branches. Most of the customers who would try our food would say it's better than the other ones. Plus, uh, we make it a point that um, our place is a place for hangout for families, for friends, or for groups. But nothing beats the classic juicy, crispy fried chicken. We have two flavors. It's the soy garlic sauce and the hot sweet sauce for those who would want to have a spicy taste. Recently, we just launched our value meals to make it more affordable and for those people who just come in, they're just alone to get their own comfort foods. We have one piece, two pieces. We have four drums and four wings. You could also get um, drums alone or wings alone. Basket. This is the largest because it's okay. um, four pieces of drumstick and four pieces of wings. Our Charlie's Bowl is chicken filet. It's chopped chicken filet and then topped with the rice and then it's also with the soy garlic sauce. For this one, we could, you could get it without rice but we also have meals that have rice. Right now, we have fish filet and then uh, we also have our cheese stick dynamite. Those are chili fingers stuffed with cheddar cheese. We also have our signature dessert, which is the Charlie's Pops. It comes in two flavors, the green apple yogurt and the orange mango. We'll be having our promo for our Mother's Day, and then we'll also be launching our back-to-school promo. These double-fried chicken delights have truly won the hearts of many, and you can definitely add me to that very long list. So don't you miss out on this proudly Pinoy classic. This is Janina Chan reporting for RPN's Spotlight.